last week this wall was made and now going to make all the rest of the walls I'm building a log cabin or actually we're building a log cabin but I do most of the work after excavating the soil by hand and a bunch of days with a rock drill as I didn't know there was a big rock in the middle I gathered a few stones from the land and built a foundation plus pillars for the terrace Then for the first time working with a chainsaw, I felled some trees for the main construction, then pushed them out of the forest, debarked them and built the main frame. And after that, the roof. If you haven't seen last week's video, here's a little flashback. For the rest of the walls I need a few more wine bottles, so let's make them first. So we're going to connect these bottles together, make it the same size as this. That's one, now we're gonna make the rest. This is actually the last bit in the previous few days. I've done a little more, I'll show you now. In the left bag I'm putting the white white ones and in the right bag the white colored ones which are mainly white green or white brown and I calculated I need 120 of white white ones and about 180 of white and color so for every I need two bottles so in total is 300 times two is 600 bottles um, I've gathered a bunch of more bottles in the meanwhile uh, so I'm not sure if it's enough, but it'll keep me busy for a bit. not bad I established that I have enough color bottles um, a lot of them are brown and I, I wish I had a bit more green ones because the brown ones don't let a lot of light through I need another 80 to 100 white bottles and then should be okay all right so the first row the jars all need to be washed uh, second row the jars need to be washed, the, the beer bottles, the neck need to be taken off. Same count for the third and fourth row. Jars washed, beer bottles, neck taken off. Then the fifth and sixth row, um, they're all going to be cut in to 15 centimeters. Uh, the same size as that, so they're going to be connected together with those. Then the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven and eight row, or the seventh row. Um, the necks of the bottles need to be taken off and the eighth row I still need white bottles for the ninth row um, is all custom I need to mark it off with a pen because I use the leftover white jars uh, different sizes I had and then the last row I don't remember the number anymore I still need the white bottles for it so yeah let's get to work
subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of future videos. Still need those two lines. I hope to find 70 to 80 more white bottles tomorrow to finish that. And then I have enough. Maybe next week would be nice to have, uh, if I can find more white ones, to make more white to white just to be sure I have enough of those. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, got another 72, 73 white bottles. I changed my mind. I'm going to um, use as many of them to make white whites. And I will cut those already now, so I don't have to do it later in case I need more. It's because in the beginning, I, there were a bunch where I wanted to make white whites and ended up, I didn't have enough white, so I made white greens. So this is looking pretty good. This needs a little bit more. this door and I'm gonna make a door frame for it and I bought this universal door frame I really like this door with the glass in the middle it'll fit my uh, my bottles and uh, now I need to all make it one so I'm gonna use these um, first make them look a bit nicer and then I have to somehow put it on that So this door is left turning and it's kind of like this is not really um, logical so I'm gonna see if it's possible to make it right turning. I think you should be able to turn that around.
bad news, I broke it. Wait, wait, this apparently is not a system where you can turn this around. Gotta find a different solution. Oh well, since I broke it and since it's actually an interior door and an exterior door, I'm just gonna buy a door with a door frame. All right, so I'm gonna buy this door. This is uh, 90 euro, almost a hundred dollar. This is by far the cheapest exterior door I can find and I think it'll fit the cabin. All right, so this is the idea. If I have enough space above the window frame, I want to, let me show you. I want to put these two massive jars above. Like it? Let's make the wooden frame now. saw to do it but uh, as I don't really have to cut a lot of more wood uh, I don't really want to buy new tools so I'm just gonna do it with this Oh <laughs> okay. oh this is what you broken What the f To connect the cement with the wood, I put a lot of nails in it uh, because cement doesn't attach to wood. And a few days ago, I also did that on all the other sides. These go in the cement, so let's put them about here. Yeah, should be right. And this one will go to the top, two of them actually. <laughs>
Said yip his feet. From this old pipe, we're cutting a bunch of 12 inch or 30 centimeter pieces and we're gonna put them in the cement and they're gonna be everything what needs to go from outside in the house or from inside out, we'll go through that. Most of these logs still have these hairs on the side, so I need to take them off before beginning. Now we need to cut some wood with a chainsaw just like here because otherwise I can't see the post and I want to see the post so that's for the corners just does not work no this does not work so I'm gonna have to cut it in half this is gonna work better I would have loved to show you a big end result, uh, like I normally try, like a whole wall or a beer bottle wall, but this was a full week of work, so I'll see you for the next video. A big thanks to my patrons who make it possible for me to keep making these videos. If you'd like to become a patron too, check out the link.